Good morning, Modern Steaders. Today's Friday, and you know what Friday is. Friday is Modern Steader Update. And this Friday, Lord Willen and the creek didn't rise, and Hand Hewn Farm made it here. We should be harvesting our pigs right now. Hope everything's going well, and I hope everybody made it. And, and look forward to seeing some of those videos starting on Tuesday. Let's get on with our farm tour. We are having some weird weather this morning. I guess a storm is a brewing. The Icelandic chicks are doing great and loving their $30 chicken coop and their water. The Icelandic chickens are doing great. They were starting to molt, and now Sweet Pea's feathers are all starting to grow back, and the feathers that Rufus lost are growing back nicely too. All the chickens are doing great. They're pumping up nicely. They'll be going into freezer camp within a couple of weeks. We have a couple of hens in this meat bird batch and we'll keep the hens and we'll save them for laying eggs either for us or we'll sell them. I believe the only hens we have we have one right there and another one right there. And I believe the rest are all roosters. I believe all the chickens in this tractor are all roosters. I don't think we have any hens in here. Man, I wish I would have had the camera rolling for that. A grasshopper jumped into the wooden side of one of the chicken tractors and a white chicken came right along and ate that grasshopper up. He's like, yeah, morning protein. New York City is sitting there nicely. They're waiting to come out. The ducks can sure make a mess in the water, that's for sure.
we pre-recorded a couple of videos so that way you guys would have videos to watch while we're doing the three-day pig harvesting class wanted to make sure we had plenty of time to do the videos learn as much as we can and then edit them after the class is over with so what's coming out backwards is this video it's coming ahead of the next two videos so what I'm about to show you is like futuristic are you ready We got a bunch of grass clippings over here. Gina mowed this area the other day, and there must be at least five, if not seven, Kubota bucket loads of grass clippings in here that the chickens have gone through and eaten out of and spread all out for us. I'm just putting our feed right in it for them. This will help make them go through there, dig it up, scratch it out, and spread it for us. <laughs> But they have done a great job in this area cleaning it up for us. We'll be moving them out of here shortly. We've got everything out here cleaned up nicely. We got a leveled off spot under our meat pole so we can put our 55 gallon drum with a burner under there. Picked up under the awning, got the grill outside. Gina and Olivia did an awesome job cleaning the windows. Poor birds. Oh, it smells good in here. We have the floor sailed up nicely with tongue oil. We were able to do two coats. We've got the stainless steel tables all set up. I need to hook the plumbing back up for the sink. I gotta take the top off the stove and put it somewhere. But everything in here is cleaned up and organized. It looks nice. Getting ready for the class. Look at that window. You can see right through it. Can't even tell it's there. Right, Pluto? Did you find some rainwater? Good morning, girls. Oh, I gave the pigs some nice, fresh, clean bedding. They're being animals with the feeder, and they're just knocking it over right now. So, we brought them out with five gallons of food. I'm gonna stick it inside their IBC tote for the upcoming rainstorm. Cause that's all torn apart, and that's not gonna keep rain out of the feed. At this stage, they're not sleeping inside or using the IBC tote for shelter at all. Whether it's raining or not, they're outside in the weather, loving it all the time. Right, girls? The pigs are doing great. We're going to be doing a video on tape measuring them to figure out their body weight. We're going to be going over how we raise them on pasture to get them to be happy big pigs that they are and how much money we have invested into them right now. That video will be coming out in the next few days. Keep your eyes out for it. Give me my bucket.
Whoa. Let's give him a few apples. Now I know some of you modern steaders might think it's sad we're turning our pigs into bacon, pork chops, ham, prosciutto, but this is why we raise the pigs and all our livestock here at Lumna Acres, is so we can feed our family with the best food possible on the planet. We want the healthiest food we can get. The biggest reason for that is for our health. We know when we eat food, that isn't that good. We feel it the next day and for a few days later. We go out to dinner still, and when we do go out to dinner, we feel miserable afterwards. We don't feel the greatest. If we eat healthy, clean food, we feel great. So this is why we raise the animals and live the lifestyle we live, is so we can feel good physically and mentally. It makes a huge difference. But I am very thankful for our pigs. They provide that kind of lifestyle and health for us. And I know if it wasn't for the pigs, we wouldn't be able to live this way. So I am very thankful and I respect my animals and that's why I treat them as great as I can. I try to give them the best life possible with one bad day. And it's not even a whole bad day. It's a couple of seconds and they don't even know it. We do it as, we do it as humanely as possible. We won't end the video there. Pluto, don't take off. We got some firewood delivered. That'll be coming up in a video you'll be seeing in the next couple of days. Take your guesses, which pig do you think is bigger and what do you think their weights are? Leave it in the comments down below. We'll be doing a video on it coming up. Figaro says, hey, how come I'm not in the update? We're coming in to check on you. We'll be in in a second. You're gonna end the vlog. Let's see what Figaro's up to. No, get off. Those curtains aren't for you to climb on. You got it? Don't you even think about it, mister. We hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope everybody here at the class is having a great time and we're learning a ton. And I can't wait to edit those videos, get them uploaded, and share all the new knowledge we learned with all the modern steaders. If you're new to our channel and you haven't already subscribed, now's a great time to do that. Go on down below, hit the subscribe button, and while you're down there, hit the little bell icon. That'll turn on notifications and let you know every time we upload a new video and every time we go live. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.